All right, so here's a, here we're going to work example two, uh, finding the derivative of a function using the definition. Uh, these are the examples I'm going to work. I'm doing one example per video, but I just wanted you to see this would be video one, two, three, all the way down to video eight. All right, so you know you can go and watch whatever one you want, or you can watch them all. All right, so let's see what we've got. Okay, so here's the definition. So the derivative of a function f is f prime of x is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. All right, so let's look at example 2. All right, so let's just go ahead and write. We've got the limit as h goes to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x, all that divided by h. So there's our definition. All right, so we've got to we've got to calculate the limit of this. So we need f of x plus h. So the derivative is the limit as h goes to zero. f of x plus h. Well, we're just going to take the x plus h and put it in for x. So I've got 3 times x squared, but in the place of x, I'm going to put x plus h. Okay. Minus 4 times x, well, in the place of x, I'm going to put x plus h. Okay. And then that's minus f of x. Well, here's f of x. So that's 3x squared minus 4x. And remember, it's minus the whole thing. So I've got to put that in parentheses over h. Okay. So what we have here, this is f of x plus h. See, all the x's got replaced with x plus h. And then here is f of x and then over the h. All right, so, well, we've got to simplify this. We've got to, we're going to multiply all this out, combine like terms, and get this h canceled out of the denominator. So, this is the limit as h goes to 0. So, this is going to be 3 times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Okay, remember this right here, this is x plus h times x plus h. And then I just fold that out and got this. Okay, and then I'm going to distribute the minus 4, minus 4x, minus 4h, and then distribute the minus, minus 3x squared plus 4x, and all that over h. Right. So then I get the limit as h goes to 0. Now all I'm going to do in this step is I'm just going to distribute the 3. So that's 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 4x minus 4h minus 3x squared plus 4x, all that over h. All right, so let's see. So the 3x squared go to 0, and the 4x's go to 0. All right, and so that is going to leave me with the limit as h goes to 0 of 6xh plus 3h squared minus 4h, and all that over h. Well, look at this. I've got a common factor of h that I can factor out. And so that's going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of h times 6x plus 3h minus 4 over h. And then we can see here the h's cancel out. And so this is going to give me the limit 
as h goes to 0 of 6x plus 3h minus 4. Okay. And now I can evaluate the limit. So I plug the 0 in. That's 6x plus 3 times 0 minus 4, which is 6x minus 4. And so our derivative f prime of x is equal to 6x minus 4. And there's your answer. All right, so I hope the video helped. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.